just finished a great dive on a beautiful reef. We're going to share those pictures shortly after we edit them and put them yeah. together. But I want to show you what happens sometimes if you happen to contact fire coral. <clears throat> now we don't usually look for fire coral and we try not to touch anything if possible. <clears throat> but sometimes if you're distracted or doing like I was trying to take pictures and get underneath of structures, sometimes you're going to brush against that. And if you don't have any type of exposure protection or skin protection like a wetsuit or a skin, uh, you're going to contact it and you're going to know it. Whenever if somebody says, how will I know if I find fire coral? Oh, you'll know instantly. It's like touching a hot stove. And it'll also leave a mark. So you can see the mark right there. It's really not that painful. I mean, if I got back there and poured some vinegar on it, it will be fine. That was not really a, a very serious burn. Sometimes you can get a really potent strain and it'll be a really harsh chemical burn that'll last for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, sometimes a couple of months. But it's nature and that's a defense mechanism out there. So uh, we gotta take it. If we're gonna go in their environment, we gotta take what we, what we get. So anyway, it was great, great dive. Little fire coral, no big deal. Just take it as, as it comes. Anyway, we got the beach diver here. I'll see you on the beach.